Hello guys, Furball the Hammy, your friendly neighborhood hamsters, back again for another Hypixel Skyblock video. Today's video will be short, simple, and sweet, because I'm attempting a new style of editing and producing videos. So yeah, today's video is quite simple, it's just about telling you the top 5 reasons as to why you should do Slayers in Hypixel Skyblock. So why do I make these kinds of videos? Huh? Talking about Slayers, encouraging people to do Slayers, talking about Slayers being profitable, whatsoever and whatso not, right? Because I love Slayers and I think it is my duty as a YouTuber to share the joy about why I enjoy Slayers to you guys. So today will just be a simple top 5 video. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. Number 1. Combat XP Yes, you no longer get combat XP on your islands. Oh no, what a tragedy. Where shall I get my combat XP from? Slayers. It's that simple. Yes, you heard me right. Slayer is good for combat XP. You get more combat XP per hour by doing tier 3 tarantulas, the most profitable slayer mathematically, and potentially more XP than zealots if you can do it quickly potentially under 45 seconds which is doable with a wolf pet. So I will also make a video telling you guys on how to speed up your boss summons for slayers and it won't just be about a wolf pet, there will be other tips. So do stay tuned. Or you can just do tier 4 revenants and level your combat. It is by far the fastest way to level your combat but my coins. So if you want a real life example as to how good combat is for slayer xp, I am Furball the Hammy, you can check out my Sky.LEA profile, my in-game name is Furball, I'm Combat44 with over 2.7 million Slayer XP, and I am Combat44 without a single gas kill. So this shows you that the Combat XP you get from Slayers is somewhat relevant, because clearly you don't get the Combat44 that easily, I mean it has a lot of XP. Number 2 guild requirements. So just to let you guys know, most top or second tier guilds have those sweet sweet splashes that you really desire and do you want to enter those guilds? Yeah, those guilds have requirements and most of them have requirements that require Slayer XP in order to join. Exactly, and that's why you have to grind Slayers. For example, my guild Flexing Chimps is recognized as an endgame guild and it's one of the best guilds in Hypixel Skyblock, hashtag Humper Brag, but it requires 1.5 million Slayer XP to enter. Now, don't be afraid by this because Flexing Chimps is well known for its high Slayer average XP as a whole guild. So yeah, that's why this guild tends to have a very high Slayer XP requirement. Most other guilds don't even need 1 million Slayer XP, they need 300k, 90k even sometimes, and sometimes 500k. However, the benefits of joining an endgame guild is also pretty useful beyond just those splashes. Because within endgame guilds, the players in these guilds tend to be much richer. And that means that they can help boost your bids in the auction house or help to save bids that were going really low for your items in the auction house because you auctioned them during the wrong time or you were just plain unlucky. So yeah, there are some benefits to joining an endgame build beyond splashes and in order to join them, you do need some form of Slayer XP. So that's why you got to do your Slayer bosses guys. As the saying goes, a Slayer boss a day keeps a slash G kick command away. So yeah, I hope you guys are still enjoying the video and before we move on to point number 3, be sure to like and to subscribe because 70% of you guys or even more of you guys are in fact unsubscribed to my channel. And let me tell you guys why you want to subscribe because at 10,000 subscribers, I will be giving you guys a choice to make me do 1000 tier 4 revenants or 2,500 tier 3 tarantulas. So be sure to go down and hit that subscribe button if you want to see me die a horrible death of carpal tunnel syndrome. <sighs> the lengths I go just to appease the sadism of my viewers is amazing sometimes. I would never expect myself to be doing this when I first started YouTube. So, point number 3. Power. If you want to be an endgame player, you need talismans. And almost every talisman in the game, guess how many talismans are found within Slayers? 
Hmm, and here I'll give you a list of it. The zombie artifact, the devourer ring, the red claw artifact, the hunter ring, the survivor's cube, the spider artifact, and the tarantula talisman are all talismans that are found within slayers. And most of these talismans are actually quite decent. For example, the Red Claw Artifact gives base crit damage and is an epic talisman. The Hunter Ring, although it's just a mere rare talisman, gives you 5% more combat XP, which means 5% faster slayers. And Survivor's Cube gives you 5% extra healing. And as a free talisman, you get upon hitting Spider Slayer level 7. And these are all the benefits that come with having a high slayer level. So if you want to be an endgame player, there is no running away from my beloved slayers. You better do them and get those talismans. And yes, they call me the mad YouTuber who just does slayers and slayers and only slayers for a good reason. And also, don't forget that the mosquito bowl that you want to use for dungeons if you intend to be an archer build be sure to take note that that requires Spider Slayer level 7. So you have to grind Slayers because some of these items within Slayers are also good. And there are also plenty of other powerful items beyond Talismans that are amazing for Slayers. For example, the Weird Tuba, the Wands of Healing, Regeneration and Restoration, as well as the Orbs such as the Radiant Power Orb, Mana Flux Power Orb and the Overflux Power Orb. And now moving on to point number 4, Coins. Slayers is profitable. However, please don't do one hour of Slayers and complain about no coins or no profits or you lost money. Because Slayers isn't profitable in that one hour you did in those 10 hours you grinded Slayers. Slayers isn't really profitable within a short period of time. Slayers does guarantee profit mathematically, but as you know, probability only becomes more accurate over time, which means that in order to profit from slayers according to mathematical proof, you have to do hundreds or tens of hours of slayers because the RNG drops you get are calculated into your profits per hour. And in order to get those RNG drops, you don't just do one hour of slayers and call it a day. You have to do it for over tens of hours, over hundreds of hours, over a month or even more. And furthermore, Slayers does guarantee profit, you can trust me on that. I have mathematically proven it if you want to know why, link in the description, you can check it out. It's an 18 minute video on pure math to explain why. So yeah, and also, don't use the excuse that my RNG sucks, so I don't do Slayers. RNG is math, it is a luck, luck is a lie, and you all know it. It's an excuse to justify your laziness to do Slayers. But let me tell you, that is an excuse and it's not the truth. RNG is math, repeat after me. This is why I continue doing Slayers even though my luck may not be the best because RNG is math and that's what I recite to myself on a daily basis. And if you are willing to do Slayers for thousands and thousands of bosses like me, Unless you do Revenants, I can promise you profit. Except for T. Creopuff, who is a sad, sad man with 3 million seven XP, no overflux, but he got 30 grizzly baits. F in the chat, please. And last but not least, number 5, Flex. Okay, you know what? I ran out of reasons. I'm not even gonna try to cover up this good reason here. It's not even a good reason. But listen very carefully. Look, if you get all slayers to level 9s, not only do you get profit and combat XP, you also get to flex the 3 million total slayer XP and the 999 slayers. <clears throat> we don't talk about the failed slayer child called Revenant who takes your money and never gives it back. But yes, it's a good flex, it gives you good coins, gives you good combat XP, and it allows you to, you know, show how much of a no life you are, which can be a good or a bad thing depending on what type of Hypixel Skyblock player you are. So yeah, this is a rather simplistic and short and maybe a slightly comedic video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this new style of video. And if you guys have found the reason to grind Slayers, be sure to like and to subscribe. And this is Furball the Hammy, your friendly neighborhood hamster, signing out.